Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today's video about, is about the shape tool with text. So when you have text picked, you see these little boxes, but you can't really do anything with them below the text until you go to your shape tool. Now, I've done several videos on this, but uh, I've added a couple, or I added at least one new tip, so I thought I'd make this video today. If you take your shape tool and you grab this kerning knob is what I call it or handle, it's 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 spacing out the, the words and the letters between the words, which is pretty helpful if you're you know, if a customer brings you a piece of wood that's let's see what size I have this box is seven inches by one inch and she wants it just these words on it, um, she would never want these words, but, and you wanted to uh, make it look more adjusted on that piece of wood, then you can adjust it out, and that doesn't look too bad. But, in a case that you wanted it spaced out between the words, you know, you could definitely, you know, do this and then move, move everything over, but, if you will take your kerning tool and hold down the shift key while you're holding it, it's just changing the space between the words and nothing else. And with that said, if you'll just take your shape tool and say, I want these, well, you wouldn't want that. You would want these underlined. I want space underlined. You know, you can do so much with the shape tool and not ever have to go back to the text tool. Um, we want all these letters. You would never use yellow, but if you wanted them lightened out or black, uh, if it's a boldable font, you could bold it here. If it's and if it's a italic font, you could italics here. And let's take the word word, and you could bump it up a little bit, bump it out. You could bump it up. You know, take it back down to zero and it would be back on the line. So if you're trying to do that, you could actually skew it or rotate it on the nodes, you know, the, which I don't know why you would ever do that. And I know I've done these before, but these are always pretty cool and a lot of people can't figure out how to do them with the text tool. Well, you do them with the shape tool because as soon as you hit the, the letter that you want to do, it comes up to subscript to make H2O. Uh, do those in uh, superscript to make third place. There's so much you can do with it. Um, you know, just uh, for instance, there's the word text. You get your text tool. Go right here and make them all capital letters, but still have a a, a big uh, text at front are all caps. You can change a lot inside the text tool that you don't think. See, here's the boldable that you don't ever have to go back to the text tool if you're using the shape tool. It's all right here. You could change the font, the size. Uh, you know, like like earlier, if you wanted uh, the word between to be a bigger word, you can do that in the text tool. But you're right here with the shape tool. So play around with the shape tool. I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.